As part of my efforts to watch the first episode of all of the TV shows I grew up with, I decided it was time to watch Pink Mug, which is the first episode of Bananas in Pajamas. And I don't remember this episode specifically, but to be honest, I don't really remember that much about Bananas in Pajamas. However, the theme song and the, the animated intro just fills me with so much joy because I really remember that. But in terms of the episodes, for example, it was a lot shorter than I remembered. The episode's about five minutes, and in my mind, they were much longer. That's not to say they're not as detailed as I remember, but certainly there are gaps in my memory. But this first episode was released in 1992. And Amy, the brilliantly named teddy bear, uh, is using the pink mug at the beach. Now, this set design for the beach is fabulous. It's definitely a little rough around the edges, you can tell it's not really meant to look like a real beach. They've done it so that it looks, you know, a little bit artificial, which I love. And she accidentally breaks the mug. And B1 and B2, the bananas, find this mug and declare that somebody could cut themselves on it, which I thought was a really good way of saying, hey, Amy, you shouldn't just leave that broken mug lying around. And they take the mug and try and fix it. Meanwhile, Amy doesn't want to confess to Morgan, one of the other teddy bears, what's actually happened with the mug. And by lying through omission, B1 and B2 might end up getting the blame. Will she confess what really happened? There's a nice little message here about telling the truth. Accidents do happen. She didn't break it on purpose. She was playing circus and, uh, yeah, broke it accidentally. But even when accidents happen, you should just confess and tell the truth because all kinds of things could go wrong as a result of that. Something I loved about this, but it kind of made me feel sick, was everything in this seems exaggerated. The movements are exaggerated. The set designs are very bold and blocky, which works quite well. And the pot of glue that B1 and B2 were using is the most disgusting looking glue I've ever seen. But it was so effective because it's just, it's got an almost theatrical quality to it you know how it, in, in stage shows everything has to be particularly for children everything's got to be larger and bolder and not necessarily realistic looking and this is what we get with with bananas and pajamas in certain situations and the glue just it looked horrific but it looked great it was very effective but not very pleasant I thought it was a nice little narrative with a nice little message the mug also the color of the mug I loved um I like most people have favourite mugs and if my favourite mug breaks I'm devastated. There was also a solution to the problem, I won't spoil it in case you do want to watch this for nostalgia's sake, but there was a, a solution to this pink mug that everybody was always fighting over and I have to say it was a pretty sensible solution. So I may not have remembered this particular episode, I loved the theme song and the intro, it all came flooding back to me, but I do remember B1 and B2, I love the design of them, I just there's something about those bananas that look fantastic and make me want to eat bananas which might be a slightly weird reaction to have to a tv character but i just love the design of them the teddy bears are pretty great as well definitely i can see why this is a was well i don't know if it still is a popular tv show but i can see certainly why it was why i watched it and i had a lot of fun revisiting it